you really think about our history and who we are as an institution, it was really about how our founders, Dr. Harper and Dr. Roddy, could preserve African-American art history and culture. And that has continued to be the key component of the Gantt Center over the last almost five decades. Today, our focus is even more so around social justice and using the arts to tell those stories or to reflect and to unpack some of these tough conversations. And our vision is always about moving from the conversation to affecting behavioral change. We bring community leaders, cultural influencers, major artists, people who have amazing stories to tell. We bring these people to the community and we allow people to learn and to grow individually and to learn about themselves. That's really the power in the Institute, is that the Gantt is not just looking for you to come in and hear a speaker and walk out the door. They're looking for you to learn something, take it out and do something with it. There is intentionality in everything that the Gantt does and everything that the Gantt stands for, from the stories, the exhibitions, the programming. There's representation in the floors, on the walls, and the structure of the building. There's history everywhere. We value equity above almost anything else. So my belief is the way we change the system is really from the bottom up, from the kids, from the teachers, and move up that way. That's what the purpose of a museum is for, is to show and educate. And hopefully 10 years from now, 20 years from now, we'll just be calling it American history because we've been here all along. Contributions of African Americans in this country is very important to the history of America. And without that conversation and really without understanding it, we can't really have a really vibrant community. And it's important that we be a platform that can lift up artists in our community. When you're in a city like Charlotte, it's very important for an African-American institution in a city with African-American artists that there's a relationship. There's nothing like being able to walk into an institution and seeing the work of individuals that you know. That changes everything. It gives you the ability to feel like you could be next and it just makes what you're doing amplified. The GAN has done an amazing job of reaching out to local artists and making us a part of the narrative. Some of the best exhibits I've seen in Charlotte have been at the Gantt Center because a lot of the art that comes through there has so much soul to it. I've experienced the most joy or satisfaction from seeing people see themselves in the work that we have here. Whether it's a hands-on workshop or coming through Welcome to Brook Hill and seeing images of people who look like them. We have created a space for people, not just black people, to feel empowered and to see themselves in the work they create. It's an important aspect of the Charlotte community, but also in the United States, American history and culture as a whole. There are museums in almost every city in America, but there's not a lot of thought given to black artistry. So the representation is important. This is more than a building. It's more than an institution. It's more than a cultural center. The Gantt is a beacon producing art and supporting work that is going to eventually change the world. <laughs>